step-by-step -step instructions to create a free Google Cloud trial account so that you can use this account to practice your step-by-step -step hands on labs in future this is what I'm going to cover in this video and for that you will need two things one is a valid credit and or debit card which could be American Express or Visa or MasterCard and a valid Gmail account as well now Towards end of this video, I'm going to uh, invite you for a free class where we are going to I'm going to bring an expert who will tell you or take you to the journey of how to learn Google Cloud in depth, including getting certified. What are the certification options and what all things you should be doing so that you get a high paying job as well. Now, this is a part one of a multi part video series and where we as I said, we're going to look at how to create an account, but then later in part two, three, four and subsequent videos, we're going to talk about how to create a virtual machines of Windows and Linux, how to create network storage, what a project means, how do you create projects, uh, how do you do databases, how do you do network uh, and a lot more other things that you need to do in order to become a successful, whether it's a successful cloud architect, engineer, cloud DevOps, security, whatever you're doing on Google Cloud, we'll cover this as well. Uh, so let's begin with first um, how to get instructions. Now this video is a little bit more detailed in depth. Feel free to fast forward some things if you already know or move quickly or play it in 2x or 1.5x as well. And yeah, so let's see how to create a free cloud account. Just to give you some uh, context that this video is a starting point for doing any hands-on lab related to Google Cloud. Now, scenario as, um, as I just mentioned, you're someone who would like to start your journey into Google Cloud, be it a developer, administrator, DevOps, architect, security, professional, network engineer, whatever you are, we learn by doing this, uh, doing the stuff. And that's what we're going to show you how to create this. As in all of our guides, we have a step by step instructions. We'll explain you and then we'll go actually and create this, um, um, this free trial account as well. So with first that Google gives you a 90 days free trial account or $300 in credit equivalent amount dollar pound euros or rupees or whatever currency you're working on. So whatever comes first. So if you have 90 days first or you've used those $300, you'll be to practice. You can go one of those things. Now, if you want to read further on, if you want to go and see there's a free, um, these two links will help you to understand if you have to go deeper into which is cloud.google.com forward slash free that will tell you everything about what that free cloud account what are the services that you can use and for how much for example compute which is nothing but a virtual machine you can create one et uh, e2 micro instance what is micro instance when we later in future videos we're going to talk about compute we'll talk about similarly cloud storage this is related to your block uh, buckets in aws or object storage in AWS, similar to that you get 5 GB of um, free account, free storage per month, like that for BigQuery, which is like your um, Redshift, uh, which is a data warehouse solution, like in AWS you have Redshift, like that one terabyte of queries per month, you get like that Google Kubernetes Engine Cloud Run, all those services you can read further. As we go later, we are going to talk about these. Also, what are the features? And um, you can see uh, there are some limitations with that, but most of the things you could, should be able to do, whatever you want to learn or want to practice, you should be able to do that within that free trial account as well. Uh, so, so you can look at either 90, 90 days or $300 and so on. You can read further onto these links. I'm going to refer in these two links as well. Now, before you proceed, you should have three things. One, first one is you should have a Gmail account. And if you don't have, it's very simple. I've just created a free Gmail account, which is I've just done before jumping on this. So what you can do is you can click here and say, create a free account or just do it, just Google on how to create a Gmail account. I think it's self-explanatory. You should be able to know and create a Gmail account. If you struggle, just leave under comment section and I'll be able to create that or show it to you as well. You should also have a, a valid debit or credit card. It should be either Visa or MasterCard. I'll try my American Express today and see if it works. Otherwise, we'll jump onto Visa or MasterCard, debit or credit. Now, you might be wondering why they're asking about Visa, debit or credit, uh, even though they're saying free trial account. So the and this is with all the cloud account, whether it's AWS, Azure, Google, uh, or Google we're doing, Oracle Cloud, they all expect you to have a free trial. They will not use that unless you have run, um, you tell them to upgrade to pay as you go model after the 90 days or $300 are done, but they want to verify that you're a genuine user and who have capability to pay once the trial uh, is over. Eventually they want you to pay and, but we should be able to 
okay, we'll not be paying any money, but we will need that credit or debit card. And finally, you will also need a valid phone number because it's going to send a message to verify your identity, whether phone, debit or credit card, as well as Gmail, the three things you should be having, I already have. Now, um, if make sure that you have not used this email ID that you're going to use to Google Cloud account to create, you have not used that in past, so make sure you follow that as well. So um, I'm going to open a browser, cloud.google.com forward slash free. So I've let me, I've already opened an incognito event, cloud.google.com forward slash free. And then we come here and say, start the free tier. So on right hand side, top right here, start a free. So we'll say start free tier. It'll prompt you, what is your sign in ID? So I think I've, I thought if I'm not wrong, K21 Academy and 240421 at gmail.com. Don't send in any emails because I'm not going to access those emails. Uh, this is just an uh, email which I've created today. I typically, you can create one with uh, whatever your name and then I do YYMMDD. So I remember that I created it on 21st of April, 2024. Click on next here. I'll ask you to the password. I'll pause this recording right now and then we'll enter the password and then I'll click on next here. Yeah, maybe I mistyped the password. So I've corrected the password there and then I'm in a console like this. Now, next is step one of two account information. It's asking me country and you are going to select your country. Make sure you change according to your country because later you'll be mapping it to your phone number and credit card that will need. I'm based out of in UK, so I've selected United Kingdom. And then email update. I would like to receive periodic email about news update about Google Cloud Partners. It's always good to have, but it can also spam or not spam, but uh, send a lot of emails. I always like to learn more, so I'll select that, check this, but uh, do it uh, if you like, if you want. It's not mandatory, but it's good to know about the offers as well as news about this Google Cloud. And click on Agree to Terms and Conditions. It will also say here you're getting $300 credit, which means you can use that credit to create and practice on this. Say so Agree to Terms and Conditions on here. Wait for a few minutes for this. Now, this is where it's saying payment information. Your account type, is it a business or personal? I'm assuming a lot of you guys, I'm going to select individual. So you're going to select individual um, here. And text status is personal, we leave it. Uh, the name and address, I'm going to change that. It should match with my credit card here. So I'm going to change it to my details. Atul Kumar, I'm going to not type my address right now here. City will enter postcode and then will come to the credit card detail. I'll type the credit card detail, but I'm going to pause this right now. I'll come to this point, enter your details, um, your address, postcode, and the phone number is optional here right now. And um, so uh, we'll, we'll pause this for a minute and I'll enter. And then I'll, this is where I'll enter my credit card details. The credit or debit card address should match with what you're typing here. That's important. If not, you can uncheck this and then enter the correct address of your payment credit card that you're using. So I've just noticed that it also is accepting the American Express as well. So you can use MasterCard, Visa and American Express, which I shared. So I'll go and update the update our guide so that American Express or Amex is also allowed here. So I've entered my details here and then um, I entered the details. Uh, it has picked up American Express, no automatic payment during a trial, which is important. Uh, so this is important for you to read and understand. It's trying to verify me and uh, so it is accepted or it took the card correctly, but now I want to verify for my credit card. So we'll say continue. It's taking me to American Express card to verification and I've got a verification on my phone. Um, so I got a number. Um, so I'm going to pause this and say, say send verification code. I can approve it from my app. I've not logged into the app. I've asked it to send it to my email. Um, this is again all your phone credit card details. So that will change slightly. So this is where I'm going to enter my credit, um, the American Express code that I'm going to get it here. So the code I got was 095. Fast forward, if you know all this, you can skip this. Uh, you don't need to listen to this. If you know, click on continue. This is a pretty standard pass. Um, okay, so I'm going to pause this again and I will don't want to show it here. So it has a set up, a successfully accepted the credit card. It's now setting up billing. Now it's saying step two of payment. What describes your, so this was the, uh, the name I've used for my first name and last name. First name was K2 Academy and the second last name was Cloud. What the best describe your organization need, you select what kind of a company you are. Maybe you can leave it others, maybe leave it. And I would say for his mine is um, uh, business idea, startup idea. So I'll select that and click on what 
um, you can click on done here now or you can answer all those questions as well uh, your free trial includes $300 credit which is important to help us to serve you better please answer four questions that will tell me more useful content related to that I'm not right now maybe I'll click and see what what all things say what brought you to Google Cloud and I want you to understand and learn uh, evaluate my technical capabilities um, because that's what um, I, I want here and then you can pick whatever you feel is appropriate what all interested you about Google Cloud this is where you want to see so I think we'll leave it default um, we'll select right now I, I don't know mobile but I'm interested in storage backups data analytics I'm interested also machine learning AI I'm also interested in containerization data management VMs I'm not interested in Google Maps I'm interested in not photo uh, I think maybe websites as well and then click on next and then my role I'm a CEO president founder but you can change I think better would be if you select yourself depending on system administrator DevOps engineer data engineer because so that later it will give you some more useful content related to that so let me select a though I should be selecting CEO founder but then I'll select DevOps engineer or maybe data science or data engineer but let's let me keep it Dev DevOps engineer for now click on next now this is I'm on a console uh, it has created my account and I'll walk you through in terms of I just also want to make sure that we log out and log back in so you know how to log back in straight away will take you there's a project we will cover what is a project later you always by default get a project everything is bundled inside a project uh, so you by default get a first project will create that but later we can create more projects as well here you will see all the services that you see here so your all your APIs billing identity access management compute what these are will cover that later and within that identity access management all the sub services within that or billing related or compute which is nothing but your virtual machines containers uh, VM instances and a lot of other things as well we'll talk about that a little bit later as we move forward so my account has been created I've just realized that I've added also American Express in prerequisite so American Express is also uh, allowed now so we've done till here we did all the steps we created an account and then payment confirmation is also done user interest is also done for us follow this guide it's free creating an account is easy simple uh, as well and then now I'm going to log out and log back in onto the system so for login I'll be URL is console.cloud.google.com so let me go back to here and I need to log out from here so you can click on here just say sign out just just this is I'm telling you you don't need to log out I'm just telling you in case if you if you are coming again console.cloud.google.com so we'll type console cloud.google.com hit enter it'll take you to the login we have already have this user email ID which I've created earlier which through which I've created my cloud account I'll select that because I'm already logged in or it's prompting me to pass enter the password again which is fine and then once you you're back into the console and that's pretty much all about creating a cloud account on here um, but before you go there's one more step I want you to do well, again as I said all these services everything I'm going to talk about in a separate video next video we'll be talking about the console how does it look like what these are services are how do you create project what is a project this is a CLI all those things we're going to experiment or play in the next uh, video as well but just to do before we go forward it we always recommend you share your learning on LinkedIn community so LinkedIn because what happens is LinkedIn is one of the for, for a professional network uh, whatever you do and, and learn make sure you share notes around that it will build it will do two uh, things one is it will build your credibility that you know these things and you're ex you're becoming an expert in this domain and if you want to read further we have a separate video which I've done on LinkedIn uh, we have a dedicated module about LinkedIn so make sure you go and watch I think that coming that will be under I'll explain you here what that is in a minute about that it's very very important that you post constantly about uh, about the content about whatever you're learning but in a manner which sounds as an authority I have a separate video about LinkedIn which I'm going to talk about separately in a separate thing but it will build network it will also hint your uh, recruiters or potential anyone who's looking for uh, cloud um, engineers or cloud role they probably will start reaching out to you and now make sure you share or tag um, K2 Academy as well as myself so I can then uh, it will further increase your reach but then also my team and I will share those further so that it also 
shares with other um, with other members as well also make uh, friends within this community inside the community uh, and tag them as well tag some other authorities as well and ask for the feedback we'll talk about that linkedin on it separately but these things will help you this is an example of um addy um joshua he has explained it in a very nice manner so maybe worth looking it's for aws but you can use the same thing for this google here as well or any other thing that you're doing make sure you sometime include the images as well the second most important another important thing is make sure you post in our community uh, and this every lab you perform and every win however small that might be you share that how to share i'll explain you and why that will uh, why it's important is that first of all every time you perform and do that um we our mental we get a little bit mental satisfaction it will inspire us to do more of those labs as well and it, it tick marks one thing and your your mind moves towards then making progress on that it keeps you accountable but it also other people will say they will come in they will ask questions so you start learning from those questions or, or it will inspire other members as well to perform these labs as well um so make sure that you post under the win section uh, so it's a very straightforward thing uh, let me show it to you you cancel here i've just given an example created a free trial of google cloud account just example and excited to be here and this is my next task is going to be or just share a screenshot and say what next you want to do and under categories make sure you put under wins here and click on post um here i'm going to show it to you post and then i'll delete it now here it'll come here so i if i go here and it'll come here created a free account for now i'm going to delete this um but how you create it you come here and say click on write something and then uh, give the title uh, write about what you've learned anything if you've learned anything new of that you were not aware of that you want to share with others or just simply write i've created this and select uh, category as wins here um so i hope you understand why it's important that it'll inspire you as well now all of our documents you will see a troubleshooting section so if you hit any problems we'll be adding it here so make sure that we if, if or whether in this guide or future videos you see any problems uh, you encounter make sure you come and look at troubleshooting section important now in past people have encountered some issues in this lab about credit or debit card so maybe they don't have an international payment enabled uh, if you especially if you're from a, a india or bangladesh pakistan or asian countries where payment goes to i think singapore depending on which country and, and things might change in future as well so you have a credit or debit card which has automatic payments are enabled as well so that's pretty much from uh, uh, in the next lab, we're going to look at the console and we're going to create some of the additional labs like creating a virtual machines, creating Linux and Windows machines, creating network databases and so on. Um, yeah, let me know your feedback. Also, give, a, give me a feedback that um, do you want me to go fast, slow? You can always fast forward and, um, and, and run it in 1.5x and so on. But let me know your feedback so that we constantly improve and work on these labs. Pretty excited. Can't wait to help on the next lab, which is we're going to do some um, actual hands-on labs in google cloud hey before you go if you enjoyed this video and want to learn google cloud like an expert whether you're a complete beginner in cloud or are already working into google cloud and want to take your learning to the next level so that you get a high paying job in google cloud i would like to invite you for a free class that i'm doing and i'm bringing some experts for you we'll be talking everything about google cloud including your learning path the certifications the common mistakes people make and how to get certified and get a high paying job even if you're a complete beginner or have no it experience or no coding or programming experience if you it will also be helpful if you're already working into cloud and want to get career to the next level so if you're interested um go to this url ketonacademy.com forward slash gcp02 enter your name email address and a phone number and click will be i'll see you inside that free class uh, as well now, apart from that if you need any other help or any other guidance or anything just leave them under the comment section and i'll see you in the next video take care and bye for now